Welcome everyone, today we'll have a Windows guide for Genshin Impact. As you can see in the background picture, I have created several pictures for all the Windows that I can find in Genshin Impact. I'm sure there are a few more, but we'll go through all of those I found, and I'll have listed all the ingredients that's from the Vendor, so this can be very helpful in our next coming guide with all the food and some of the best food we can use. I'm in the process of making it with the best stamina food, the revival food, healing food, so I'm almost ready with that, and I'll show you guys this guide after. I have prepared some notes for the guide as well, so this is version 1.1 for the current patch. As the new patches and new city comes in, we'll add those windows to our list as well. Now, you might be wondering, why do we want a windows guide, and why do we want to know the location of windows? There are several reasons. Firstly, is to make food. There are multiple types of food we can go from. There's stamina food, defense food, attack food, restoration food, reviving food, and also two types of potions. We can go with a status defense potion, or increase your damage by 25% for the relative status. As I maybe clear the look with pyro, and potions can be very powerful as well. Some of the foods can also be used in the quest, and this can be the side quest, or the world quest, or even the main quest. We can also buy and purchase new recipes from the vendors. Now before I go into how to use those vendor pictures, I probably missed a few of the vendors, and during the recording we're currently with maintenance with the server, I cannot go into the Lux Tavern, I believe there was another shop over there, but I can't get over there. I don't think there's anything major for cooking, so we'll leave that aside, I might add that in after. Most of the vendors in the game have a unique cooldown timer. I was trying to recall all of them, but it's a little too tedious. So what I did was, I tried to remind you guys, most of the vendors have a 1 day and up to 7 days timer. What you want to do is, you want to look at the bottom side as we go through the replays, I'll show you guys where to see it. You want to look at the bottom left hand side to see the vendor cooldown timer and to know how often on regular those items get restocked. Now let's first go through the 10 vendors I found first in the game with the pictures. And if you guys found the pictures, what I'm thinking of doing is posting those on my Twitter account. And this way, if you want it, you can see it on my Twitter account. For our Twitter account, what I'll do in the future is I'll post the pictures like those ones and other useful resources that we found throughout the game on the Twitter account to be more informational and to be more useful for us for the Genshin Impact community. For my Instagram account, I'm thinking of getting that back to shape as well. I'll post some of the pictures we can see in Australia, some of the pictures in my daily life, the food I'm having, maybe the environment I'm seeing, maybe some of the zoo animals I visited. I'll be more personal with my Instagram account. I haven't been touching those lately, but I'll get them back to shape slowly. Before we go through each of the pictures for the vendors, you can see that I have shot the minimap, the general map location, and also what is in the shop. I try to screenshot everything, if I can, I also screenshot the NPC name over here as well, in the background. And also a small word of reference of what those shops are for. You can see over here, sometimes I'm going for raw meat. You can see Duff is the shop NPC. This is the general location. This is on the minimap where I'm standing. Now let's get into the important part, the 10 food pictures. I'll have those on the screen for a few seconds with each of them. The first one is the cooked food with Brook over here. The next one are where you find the raw meat. I do believe those respawns every day, so if you're missing some of the raw meat, you can come over here. We also have some of the spots for finding pigs, which I'll show you guys. There's a lot of pigs in the next video. Over here, to my surprise, there were actually two fish vendors. Why do you want fish? Because in our next guide, I'll show you how powerful fish can be. Fish is one of the best ingredients for making the level 3 or the 3 star blue restorative items, and lots of useful items need fish. So you can buy one pack of fish, you can buy three pack of fish for a little more expensive. This guy's selling a, not a discount, he's selling at an expensive price over here. And there is another competitor fish shop right next to this guy. So this fish shop is the discount seafood shop. You can find crabs, you can find fish, also shrimp meat. I have not been able to collect any shrimp until now. So very happy to get some shrimp over here. So next up we have the herbalist. This is where you find chichi initially. And we have three ingredients which can be very useful if you're looking for those. But also I'll find you guys some more locations where you can find the lotus head as well. We also have the mineral shop over here. I'm sure most of you have visited Shuto before, so he does sell minerals. And those do have a longer cooldown time. I believe it's at least three or four days, or maybe even seven days with a cooldown. So we can't get a lot of those. We can also see over here there is a secret shop in the wild. You can see there are five ingredients that we can buy from, mostly berries and flowers. And this particular secret shop, I'll show you guys through the next replay. It's very nice if you're really short on those things, but they're quite expensive. And finally, we're coming into the two general goods store. 
Now I was looking for tofu, I was looking for almond, I could not find them anywhere. I did not know there was a general store in Lirin Harbor. In the Lirin Harbor there is more ingredients for the general food store. There is also a general food store in Mondstadt. The food wise in Mondstadt for the general store is not as you know not as comprehensive. So if you're going for items, the Lirin Harbor one is probably better. We also have a picture showing the Mondstadt Good Hunters. This is the restaurant where Paramount initially asked you to buy the pie and the you know the honey roast. Everything has to do over here. So the highlight for the Good Hunters is that you can buy processed ingredients for the crab roast, for the jam, and you can also buy the the smoke fall. So there are a lot of ingredients you can buy which you have to process. Those processed food will be touched on the next guide. But just for now, remember those cost 10, 20, and 30 minutes to make one of them. And I think the cooldown timer with those are pretty long, they're like 7 days for those processed food. So if you're short on processed food, you don't want to wait, you can buy them at the Good Hunters. Now if you haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to do so. Make sure you also turn the bell on for the latest news as I find more of them for us. You can see that we're really dedicated for Genshin Impact. We'll have builds, guides, tips, news and events updates for everything that's Genshin Impact related. Our first two NPC replay will be the Cook Food NPC with Brooke over here and also with Darth. They're both located in Springvale Village. We can teleport to Springvale over here on the teleportation point and afterwards what we do is we can run directly towards Brooke over here. I'll show you guys on this replay. So the location of the Darth, the meat seller is actually closer. Brooke is the further away. So come over here to this house. So go to the south east side over here and you can see Brooke over here. She does not have the most intriguing items, but those are restorative items. If you're short of those, if you don't want to be cooking, you can buy them right away from her. Now coming back to the waypoint, what you're going to see is right next to the waypoint, you're going to see two NPCs. Those are Ellen and Darth. Darth is the NPC that sells raw meat. He was not located here initially. After the Shaolin quest with a frozen person, he came over here. So what you do is speak to Darth and he will show you the food. I'll also show you the cooldowns of the food as well. You can see that down here, so over there. <laughs> so the item refreshes in 10 hours. Those are daily refresh shops. Some of the shops have one day cooldown, some of the shops have two to three days, some of the shops have four days, some of them have seven days. It's very unique for each of the shops, but most of the raw ingredient shops do have a one day cooldown. Next up, I'll be showing you two of the hidden locations for raw fish. Those are very rare and very powerful items because they can be used to cook the three star ingredients for lots of HP restoration. They can also be used for attack potions as well, attack food. So over here you can also see right next to the fish shop, there's one more seafood shop with this kind of fish, crab and also shrimp meat. We'll be going for this particular teleportation point and afterwards we'll run towards over here where my mouse is to find the two fish shop. So over here you can see me running towards the harbor side and keep in mind guys the fish shop does not open until it's in the morning so i show you the map again so i'm over here and i'll be flying over here this is one of the fish shop and the other one is next next to it the npcs are not there what you do if you come at a night is you're gonna go back and change the time of the day and change it to a day once it's daytime the npcs will appear and over here you can see I'll be speaking to them two NPCs. So over here Alcon God sells more fish, but it's more expensive. There's also an insider joke with the Chinese community as well. So there was a joke about people were selling one things for 300 and they were selling three things for 1000. They're like, discount, discount guys, but it's actually a rip off. So if you look closely, <laughs> they try to rip you off. So they made this joke, this meme into the game as well. And that's why it's selling three for a thousand. If you're really short on fish, you can get those, but the other shop does sell it for much cheaper. So if we come back to the shop next to him with Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam says they're super fresh and he also has some of the best ingredients. So crab meat and shrimp meat are really rare. I haven't been able to find shrimp meat and crab meat is needed for some of the five star food cookings for its adapts temptation, which we'll have a look on the next guide. The fish is much cheaper, but you only get five of those over here. Next up, we'll look at the herb shop in the Red Harbor with the pharmacy. You can see on the minimap over here where I'm standing and we'll be traveling to this particular waypoint. After teleportation, we can go directly through the door or we can try to fly over. As you go over here towards the pharmacy, you're going to notice a lot of the lotus that's on the side. That's something I also want to touch up on. So you don't have to buy all the ingredients guys. It costs a lot of more. You can collect those with the interactive map and also I'll show you guys where to find a lot of ingredients. So over here we can find the herbless over here with three of the herbs. 
Next up, we have the mineral shop. I'm sure most of you might have heard of it, and if you haven't, that's why I'm having it over here. The minerals does not help towards cooking, but they can be useful for making weapons or upgrading, and they can be used for some of the quests as well. So I'll show you guys where the minerals are. The minerals are quite straightforward. After teleporting to this particular waypoint where my mouse is, the NPC is right next to the waypoint. So you can see over here, after coming over here, you can see what the NPC is. And this is the NPC with a longer timer. Once we're going to the shop, I'll show you guys his particular timer. During that time, I do believe his timer is at least four days or maybe even seven days. You can see down here, he says two days remaining. And this has been in the middle of the week while I was recording this one. So this is one of the longer time NPCs. If you're looking for minerals, guys, I do recommend going and mine them. I'll be making a comprehensive guide for you guys to locate where most of the mines are for the minerals. Over here, we have one of the wild hidden NPCs on the road. She is located between the two sides of the roads. What we'll see in the replay, she's on the left hand side. Sometimes she's on the right hand side behind the bushes as well. So make sure you double check the bush for her. And she does sell some of the very nice berries and very rare sometimes. If you're short on upgrading your kill or clee, and if you're short on some items, you can buy over here. But keep in mind, guys, those are quite expensive. You can also loot them in the wild. We'll be making our way to this particular waypoint and we'll be running towards on this side over here. Now you can see as we fly down towards the particular flower girl, what you want to do is you want to go onto the road. After onto the road, look towards your left and look towards your right. She will actually be over here. Notice I can see her over here. She's standing behind the tree over here. Sometimes she's on the other side where the fizzle picture is. So she's on the left or on the right. Once you get to her, you can buy the herbs from her. Keep in mind, she also have a quite longer cooldown timer. Let's have a look at her cooldown timer as well. She does have two days at the time of the recording, but you can see those were recorded at different times. I believe she at least have three or four days of the, re of the reset timer. So those are a little harder to get and they're quite expensive. You can find a lot of those in the wild as well. And I do recommend using the interactive map if you don't want to be buying those. And finally, we have the Lorraine General Group Shop and also the Monster Good Hunters and also the General Groups over here. Those are a few of the common shops. And if you want, just zoom into the map and you can see the shop logo in within the minimap. So I will not go into the details of the replays to show you guys where those common shops are. I just want to highlight that there is also shrimp meat sold over here on the General Group Shop. So there's shrimp meat, tofu and armored, which is more rare. You don't see that in the other shops. So there is a processed food on the Good Hunters. There is just the common food on the general goods. So those three shops are very common and they don't have a lower quantity of sold. So you can buy up to a hundred of those. I just realized with the shrimp as well. So what you can do is if you're short on those, you can come over here. But as we're going to the Good Hunters over here, just as a demonstration, some of the items have one day cooldown timer, other items have longer timer. I believe the smoke flow and other processed food have at least four or five days cooldown timer. So be extra aware of that. So just in case you're short, you think you can buy every day, be, make sure you double check on those because some of the food have different timers. And here we have it guys. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was quite long because the first time I was recording, I did not press the recording button. So literally I was speaking in my room for a half an hour to an hour, just talking to myself and nothing was happening. So this is the second play. And what I want to show you guys over here, just a small preview, is I want to warn you guys, some of the food and some of the notes over here are not correct. As I was double checking in game and also the notes over here on the website, it is not 7.5 over here. It is actually 30% HP for the whole team with some of the items. I believe, which one was it? It was this one, yeah, it's not 7.5. And just as a small preview over here, as I show you guys more of the food I'm looking at, the minimal gain is actually 30% for those items and the writings over there is not correct. We'll touch those more details on the next guide on solve the best food usage for each of the types. I'll show you the ingredients, I'll show you who to make them, I'll talk about those in detail. Now if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with sketching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.